Hi, I'm Callum from Time Valley Motorhomes and today I'll be doing the handover demonstration on the Swift Mondial RL. So on the driver's side of the vehicle, you've got your cassette loo, which opens with the smaller key of the two, so you've got the main ignition key and you've got the locker key. Make sure the blade's closed on the bottom of the toilet and you'll be able to lift the handle up and slide it out. You then have some wheels to decart around the site. Go to your waste disposal point, which is normally behind and beside your toilet block. Take the cap off. Press the button at the back. Tip it out. Once you've tipped it out, if you put some water in, give it a shake about and tip again. And then you can then either, if you're using a liquid form of chemical, fill this up and put some chemical in, cap full, or if you're using the tablet form, put a pint of fresh water back into the cassette place it back in the vehicle and drop one down the toilet. Moving further along you have your hooker point. So this is how to hook the vehicle up. So you pull the, the lever back, slot it on and then obviously pull it off. Always hook the, the van up first and then the main site. You've got your cowl for your boiler system so make sure that's obstruction free at all times. And then this is your fresh water intake. So get a hose pipe, put a hose pipe in here until it overflows or until you're happy there's enough water on board. And down here is your waste water drain, which you open from the side of the tap. To drain the water off. And then coming around the back of the vehicle, you've got your high level reverse camera and brake light, the rear sensors, and then your tow bar with 17 electrics. So now with the doors open, if you want to open them to 90 degrees, you can press this button here and push them back. It's nice thing you want it. Having the back doors open and underneath you've got storage. Obviously your boiler's in there and I'll go through your boiler once on board. And then you've got more storage on the passenger side. So once you've opened the sliding door, inside is where you keep your gas bottles. So you can fit two six kilogram bottles in here. It's a left hand thread and hand tighten pigtail so there's no need for a spanner you just hand tighten it left hand thread and turn on and off at the top of the bottle obviously turn it off when you are traveling and do make sure that they're strapped in and then you can put it on when you arrive on site you've got your diesel here this is your diesel filler and it opens with the main ignition key put that in and then you can fill and lock Your tire pressure is on the front here, so 4.1 bar on the front, which is 59.3 psi, and 4.5 bar on the back, which is 65 psi. Underneath the floor is where you'll find your engine battery location, and you've got your tool kit here, which has got a jack and a brace and a tow knife underneath the passenger seat. To black the side windows out on an evening you get your silver screens and they're just press studs so you just press them on and this is only for the driver and passenger door and the other door and the other windscreen has concertina blinds which I'll show you in a second and your bonnet release is on the side of the dashboard there and now underneath the bonnet you've got your various liquids so you've got your Radiator fluid, your coolant, your brake fluid, your power steering fluid and the main one you're going to need in the top um, corner is your screen wash. And then you've got your oil filler and oil dipstick down the front here. And then should you ever need to jump start the vehicle, you put your black earth on the side here and your positive on here, which is your red one. So above the sliding door is where your two control panels are, so you put your 12 volt control panel. So it'll indicate here when you are hooked up with 240 volt, 
if not you'll just get 12 volts so you turn the power on you then have your various options so you've got your water pump which you must have on you use the tap the kitchen tap the bathroom tap the shower and the toilet you've got your owner light which is outside you can view your levels which is your leisure battery reading your vehicle battery reading your fresh water reading and your waste or you can put on your cabin lights which are your master switch for your light and then they all are individually switched around the van and then next week you've got your Truma Combi E controls so this is where you select if you want heating or hot water so at the top you've got hot water only on 40 degrees and above hot water only on 60 degrees and then below you've got heating on its own so you would use heating on its own if you had no water on board or at the bottom you can have heating and hot water on 60 degrees next to it is the source so you've got two wiggly lines which is two kilowatts of electric one wiggly line which is one kilowatt of electric gas on its own which you'd use if you're wild camping and you weren't hooked up or you've got the mixture setting so you've got mixture one which is gas and one kilowatt or mixture two which is gas and two kilowatts of electric which you'd use if you're desperate for heating or away in the winter and you wanted to warm the van up quicker. So now in the in the bathroom, so to use the toilet, make sure the pump's on, and you'll be able to flush with the blue button. And to, and to use the toilet, what you do is you'd flush to lubricate the blade, open the toilet, use the toilet, flush the toilet and then close the blade so the blades on the bottom of the toilet in the grey lever which you'd slide to the right this must be closed to get the cassette out but when you're using it you've got to have it open and then this diagram on the back will get the red light to indicate that the cassette is full and needs to be changed and you do have your fold down sink which you would just fold up your shower which is a handheld shower but in the winter if you take this the head off the hose and allow the hose to lie in the shower tray and then you do have a skylight which you can push up for ventilation either both ways together or you can pull one way down should the wind be in the opposite direction and you've got your bathroom light there as well so underneath the driver's side bench seat you've got your power supply unit which has got all your MCBs and RCDs so if, the, if you want to trip the vehicle out try here before you try your main side feed and you've got your 12 volt blade fuses which are all listed here so it would be a good idea to carry some spares. You've also got your system shutdown button which is this black button here which you can press if you're leaving the van in storage for a long period of time it will stop any battery drain and just leave these switched on as they'll only work the space heater and the water heater this is the 240 side so just leave them switched on on the front you've got your solar regulator which you don't need to do anything with it it's charging but obviously hook up takes priority and you've got your boiler here which holds 10 litres of water at any one time in the winter you don't want the 10 litres of water to freeze so you would drain it off and to drain off you just lift the toggle here and it will push all the water directly underneath the chassis you do this with no power on inside the vehicle leave all the taps open within the van and then once you were ready to use you put it down, shut the taps, fill it with water go to the cold side of the tap first it will get automatically cold water go to the hot side of the cough splitter and what that what is that doing it's pulling the water from the main tank underneath into the boiler and priming the system so to operate the tv this is a 12 volt tv so you can use this even if you are not hooked up as long as you've got sufficient power in the battery and what you need to do is each time you go to a different site and move around you need to retune the telly so what you need to do is you need to press menu go down to channel and you want to do a auto auto search press ok you want it on digital tv because AV TV doesn't exist anymore just analog I'm sure yes and it will search and find as many channels as it can in your area 
If not, you do have the option of going to Source, which is here, and you can change it to DVD and put a DVD in the side of the telly. Any reading lights in the back are all individually switched, so you can have whichever light you want on, and you've obviously got your main light switched here as well. And then to operate your windows, what you need to do is loosen the tabs off, push it out. To keep it out, you just tighten the black wheels on both sides, loosen them to bring it in. Obviously, make sure it's securely shut before you do start travelling. Same with the skylights, and you do have a blackout blind and a fly screen on there. And then to erect your boom arm table in the back, put your table leg in, and then place the table top on top and there you have a boom arm table in the back. So to make your large double at the back what you need to do is lift and slide out on both sides, lift and slide it in the middle like so and then what you need to do is use the back rests, push them in the middle Push them in the, the middle like so. There's quite a tight fit. And then also turn the base cushions the other way as well. And then there'll be a nicer surface to sleep on, flatter. And obviously there'll be no movement within the cushions. So to operate your Fetford cooker, you've got three gas burners. So if you've turned the bottle on, it's always best to bring it through the hob first prime the lines and then everything else will light on gas should there be a problem and then you do have your oven and your, your grill there take your oven shelf out when you're traveling and it can be noisy if not wrap it up and then if you've had this on for any length of time allow it to cool before you put the lid down Underneath the cooker you've got storage and you've also got two gas taps which is for the boiler and cooker. These are just for when the van is habitation serviced. But should you have any problems with gas turned off at the bottle. Got storage in here with your cutlery drawer that slides out. And then you do have the hot water there. Above, you've got your plates and cup rack holders, two three pin sockets when hooked up, and then to operate your fridge. Your fridge is a 12 volt Waco fridge which has a lock on the top. And to turn on and off, you've got a switch in the wardrobe which you just turns the fridge on and off. Also, in here, you've, you'll find your TV booster and the sockets for your telly where it's getting the power and aerial from. You'll also find your weight plate on your sliding door, so it's three and a half ton. And then with that tow bar, you can tow a train weight up to six ton. So that's the van and whatever you're towing mustn't exceed six ton. And then below the sliding door, next to your gas locker below that, this is your fresh water drain. So again you drive over a grid, same with the waste, the waste on the other side, use the handle to open and close. Now in the cab, so you've got your handbrake down to the right of the driver, you've got your electric windows, an electric mirror adjustment which does the top and the bottom, so there's two settings on each mirror. You've got your headlight adjustment trip computer on the end of the wiper stalk which will go through your, your speed, your time, your mileage, your range, your consumption and so on. Lights, so side lights and main beam, got your, your mute, your volume 
SRC just skips between CD, FM, EM, and then you can skip the track or radio channel. You've got a six speed manual gearbox with lift the collar and into reverse. And on will come your rear view camera as well as the beepers to tell them that the vehicle is reversing. You can unlock and lock the doors with it being a panel van. Obviously you can lock it and it lock, set it locking on all doors. Hazards, rear fogs and heated mirrors. Two 12 volt sockets. Temperature, fan speed. Must be on at least one or more for the aircon to work and then you've got your distribution so where you want the air to go to and your circulation. Your radio, you can turn your radio on. So if you put the turn on the radio, that beeping is just to say I'm, we're hooked up and there's an audible warning to tell you not to drive away. You can press 1 to 6 to save your favourite radio channels. And then to black the front screen out, lift these up, lift one up, push one down, releases the blind. Obviously, then here you your mirror. Do the same up, down. And then what you can and then that is the car blacked out on an evening. Your leisure battery is located behind the driver's seat and if you lift this panel it will give you access to your leisure battery and to turn your seats you just use this arm turn to spin if it got caught on the door you would just then readjust the driving position and it'll then spin into the rear.